Hello everybody again from Simply Footy YouTube channel. Today we'll continue our product description part in the primary steps for the HACCP. Also, as I have mentioned before, you can hear from view, you can put the navigation pen and know what are the five primary steps. First one, the HACCP team. Second one, the product description. We can close the navigation pen, no problem. Now we are talking about the biological, chemical, and physical characteristics of your product. There is very important website, okay? You can know all the uh, product. When you uh, search on Google, for example, you will search for very important website, the Codex Alimentarius. This Codex Alimentarius, when you enter this website, you will find very 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 useful and many titles and many standards for many uh, uh, products and also it was sponsored by the FAO and the WHO so when you in the, in the search uh, blank cell when you write juice for example you will find here general standard for fruit juices and nectars so it is in many languages in English, French, Spain, Arabic, uh, Russian, many languages and you will find its reference <coughs> sorry CXS247 <coughs> sorry 2005 and when, when you go download this standard you will find the name and it was called the general standard for fruit juices and nectars so by this way you can find all the topics related to your uh, product and when you download it by this type you will find many 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 useful data okay where is your target when you make control plus f and right here orange you will find many topics related to orange juice as you can find here okay very very useful uh, data you must read it carefully and also read your local um, governmental standards for your product for example for me there is the Egyptian standard so I must download it from the official website and purchase the standard if it's uh, uh, by money so you can uh, download all these standards and find all the components and all the elements related to your uh, product so the data I have collected that the visit the, the biological, chemical and physical characteristics. So we'll start with the biological. So I'll write start here that all the characteristics right here are according to the codex alimentarius. It's not much okay. I will add it to the dictionary. And we must mention the number of the uh, codex. It was two four seven codex stand. Okay, this is our standard number. And for example, and the Egyptian standard number 686 slash pi-2005 you must be updated with all the uh, new standards or local standards so 
we'll start with the biological standard sorry start with the biological standards pathogen free sensitive ingredients okay free from salmonella Okay, and also we mentioned that the received fresh orange fruit free from microorganisms according to the CAO. Certificate of analysis, okay, which mentioned as pre requisite program, okay, also controlled by sorting process, which is operational pre requisite program and Pasteurization, which is critical control program, and there is also here an important note that the pasteurization are from 90 to 105 Silesius. Okay, how we write Silesius here? Write insert samples, more simple. You will find this K okay, close and C Silesius for twenty five to thirty seconds. So these are the pasteurization. Okay, this is all the biological standards. Okay, now we are we will write the physical standard so this must be mentioned for all the standard of, of your product it's ingredients free salmonella okay physical standard that our orange juice are free from orange peel orange shell and foreign materials okay controlled by filtering which is filtering process which is operational prerequisite program x-ray control which is mentioned as critical control point also we must mention that the texture and color are homogeneous and of course
course have the characteristics of sorry characteristics and taste of orange juice so by this sentence we have mentioned all the chemical physical and biologic sorry uh, we have mentioned the biological stand our biological standard physical standard or we can mention it as the not a standard we can mention as the biological characteristic and physical characteristics the last thing the chemical characteristic I'm writing step by step with you all all how we can write it uh, you know completely okay the sentence we write here the product is completely devoid of flavoring from real oil okay the acidity percentage is calculated as citric acid okay range within range of 2.5 percent okay for example from where that i have meant brought for, for the citric acid range and this part from the codex or from the standards okay there is many many another data about or not uh, you know uh, write it in details you can uh, go back okay okay i'll write it quickly the percentage of the phosphorus within a range of 0 0.035 percent okay ash to be within 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 percent mm, for example the percentage of the uh, volatile oil to be within uh, limits of 0 0.4 millimeters sorry milliliters not meters okay milliliters okay per each kilogram okay and also finally there is the contaminants percentage in the in our products the contaminants I will must mention the uh, arsenic percentage lead copper zinc iron tin some of copper zinc sulfur dioxide okay all this data about all these elements you can find it in the codex okay so now we have finished all the uh, very important topic about the biological and physical and chemical uh, characteristics of our orange juice again quick review we have finished the product categorization 
the product composition and the process steps okay we have also finished the Okay, we have finished also the uh, biological, chemical, and physical uh, properties of our product. Biological, chemical, and physical. Stay with us with our channel Simply Foodia, and we will continue, inshallah, the, in the upcoming video, the shelf life, packaging, labeling, and the target market. And best of luck of all of you, and goodbye.